2D translation. So, in the first operation under this 2D transformation, we are considering this 2D translation. So, we can translate points in the x comma y plane to a new positions by adding the translation amounts to the coordinates of the point. So, that means we are having one point say at the coordinate x comma y and we shall add the respective translation amounts to x and translation amounts to y. They may be also the different amounts. It is not mandatory that translation amount for x and y will be, will be the same. So, in that case we can go for a new coordinate which will be obtained after translation. So, for each point p x comma y to be moved by the dx units parallel to the x axis and dy units parallel to the y axis to the new point that is p dash x dash comma y dash and we can write in this way that x dash is equal to x plus dx and y dash is equal to y plus dy. So, this is the displacements we are doing. So, that is why you have mentioned that one dx and dy which will be done along the x axis and another one is the dy is will be done along the y axis. So, if we define the respective column vectors, so what is the p? That is the original point, it, it has been represented by this matrix. So, now what is the p dash? That is after translation the point positions and here this particular, this particular vector is denoting the respective displacement vector. So, the equation 1, so that very equation can be expressed in more concisely as p dash is equal to p plus t. So, p dash is equal to p plus t. So, that expression we can easily follow from this expression, from this equation. So, now let us consider one example. I think that will clear our conception. So, here we have considered one diagram. So, just consider this point, it is having the value 4 comma 5 that means 1 2 3 4 and 1 2 3 4 5. So, here this point is lying and what is the coordinate initial coordinate of this point that is 7 comma 5. So, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and similarly it is 5 there. Okay. So, that is a 4 comma 5 this one coordinate there is a coordinate of this point and coordinate of this point. Now, let us suppose we are having this translation amount of dx is equal to 3 and dy is equal to minus 4. That means, 3 and minus 4 are to be added with these two values individually and 3 and 4 are to be added with these two values to get the next coordinates. So, 3 plus 4 I will be going to 7, you can find it is 7 and 5 minus 4 if you go on adding. So, 5 plus minus 4 you are going to get 1 here. So, that, that will be the new coordinate and here plus 3 with 7 it will give you me give me the 10 and 5 minus 4 it will give me that was that is 1. So, in this way the respective triangle has got translated. So, here you can find the respective uh, the ma mathematics we have done this one. So, 4 plus 3 5 minus 4 so 7 1 so that is the coordinate and here we are having this x 2 dash y 2 dash that is the 7 plus 3 so 10 and 5 minus 4 that is 1. So, here we have considered this one as x 1 y 1, this point as x 2 y 2. So, corresponding this point will be x 1 dash y 1 dash and this point will be x 2 dash and y 2 dash. In this way, how the translation can be done in 2D, we have explained that one with one proper example. Thanks for watching this video.